that up. Okay. All right, would everyone please turn off all cell phones and electronic devices or at least silence them? And would everyone please stand for a moment of silence and the Pledge of the Flag? And please, let's have a moment of silence for Shirley Jensen, former longtime Republican Commissioner of uh, Board of Elections, and for Andy Zarutsky, who passed away a few days ago, a longtime town Newburgh clerk. Sheriff's Deputy Andy Everhart and Mary Pat Smith, uh, who pretty much saved his life. Harry Poor gave me the call, and uh, if not for their quick action, it might have been more of a, a bad story for, for John. And uh, his daughter, Melissa, was in yesterday, and there is some good news. Um, he's still in recovery, and we have a lot, he has a lot further to go, but uh, it sounds like good news. So our hearts and prayers are with John and the entire McCary family. Okay, um, I would like to welcome all the students. Uh, it was a great little debate you had here. You look comfortable in those chairs. They're a lot more comfortable than you have in the class, right? I'm sure. But, uh, but thank you for coming, and I thank Legislator Sassy, who's been part of this uh, Youth and Government Day for many, many years, more than I can remember. And also for Dr. Gelman for her, uh, her great insight on this issue. Thank you again. Okay, we've got uh, three proclamations. A oh, roll call, I'm sorry. Roll call. Finelli? Paduk? Emo? Here. Magnus Dacus? Present. Benton? Here. Cheney? Here. Fagione? Here. Hines? Here. Kulisek? Here. Luhan? Present. Nuda? O'Donnell? Here. Riscavage? Here. Sassy? Here. Sierra? Here. Steganga? Here. Sutherland? Here. Hotel? Here. Tui? Here. Vero? Here. Brescia? Here. 19 present. Two absent. Okay, we have three proclamations. First up, we have Autism Awareness Month. I'd like to invite up Executive Director of Mental Health Association, Nadia Allen, along with Stacey Orzel and her son, Jason. Then we'll do the other two as well. Nadia's not here. Do you want to start it off or no? Sure. Okay. Stacey Orzel, who's our lady in charge of this every year, and uh, her son Jason, who we recognize very well, is going to introduce. Nadia's not here yet, so we might have to wait for her presentation. But you want to go ahead, Stacey. Good morning, everyone. On behalf of Parents Run Amok in partnership with the Mental Health Association, I'm very proud to be here today. Thank you for your time, your support. Uh, we have some friends from Mental Health Association that will also participate in accepting your proclamation that April also represents Sexual Assault and Awareness Month. On behalf of Parents Run Amok, we're very proud to uh, be here in honor of April as Autism Awareness Month, and representing our organization today are the Thunderbolt athletes. We're Special Olympic teams. We have Lisa Correo, Coach Holly Borzicello, Coach Steve Testa, myself, and Coach Jamie Peck representing with nine athletes and one assistant coach, probably my son Jason. Thank you. We're going to make a very short presentation, and then we'll move right to the proclamation. Thank you, Mr. Brescia. Thank you, Stacey. You want to bring in over here?
Thank you for allowing Parents Run Amok, the Autism Movathon of Orange County, to address the Orange County Legislature today. Over the past 15 years, with the support and guidance of the Mental Health Association in Orange County, Parents Run Amok has raised and distributed over $320,000 in financial stipends through our fund fundraising efforts. We have helped countless families pay for much needed therapy, recreational opportunities, medication, and family training, to name a few. Throughout our 15 years, we have strived to spread awareness, increase acceptance, and improve the quality of lives of families affected by autism. We have done this in a dozen of ways. However, I feel our shiniest accomplishment was the creation of the Thunderbolts. The Thunderbolts grew out of one mom's desire for her child to move more and to find a place to belong. What started out as a small eight-person track and field team has grown by word of mouth into more than 100 athletes participating on a weekly basis in track and field, basketball, swimming, weightlifting, and bowling. What makes the Thunderbolts unique is that we embrace the unified concept developed by Special Olympics. Unified sports joins people with and without intellectual disabilities on the same team. It was inspired by the simple principle, training together and playing together is a quick path to friendship and understanding. The Thunderbolts have grown into a community, a community of friends, a community of support, a community of individuals who truly believe that we can be the change we want to see in the world. Today, Parents Run Amok, who proudly sponsors the Thunderbolts, has invited some of our athletes to tell you about themselves and what the Thunderbolts have sparked in them. My name is Kate Ketchell. I am unique and special. I make a great friend to all and encourage my teammates to never give up. Thunderbolts have shown me that I belong. We welcome athletes of all abilities. My name is Eric Rizzo. I have courage to try new things. In the pool, my brother Jason is teaching me how to dive and to swim the butterfly stroke. On the court, my defense skills are improving and I'm trying to shoot more baskets. Thunderbolts have taught me that I can do it. My name is Isabella Lyman. I inspire other athletes by being a role model. I have made a strong commitment to the Thunderbolts. I was one of the first swimmers to join our team in 2015. In the pool, I demonstrate strokes and dives. In the court, I work well passing, playing defense, and scoring baskets. My name is Joe Tessa. I am determined. I always run as fast as I can. I give it my all in everything. Nothing will get in my way of crossing the finish line on or off the track. My name is Kyle Barrett. I have endurance. By being a Thunderbolt, I have learned through practice and time, I can really advance my skills. In swimming, Coach Jason has teached me how to dive, and I am able to swim four different strokes. My name is Brendan Correo. I have perseverance. I am able to run a 400 meter race that was impossible a couple of years ago. The Thunderbolts have taught me to work hard and I will achieve my goals. I just want to thank everyone for being here and the opportunity to let me speak. Thank you all the coaches and everybody else. All right, on to business. My name is Larry Yellow. I have strength on the basketball court. I use my social skills and offer positive encouragement to my teammates. I lead by example and hope anyone to be the best they can be. I'm out. Peace and love. Uh, hello, my name is Jay Rizzo. I'm sure I recognize many of you guys here. I'm assistant coach for Thunderbolt Swim and Basketball teams. I enjoy coaching my athletes. When they achieve their competitions, we all feel accomplished as a team. I was 10 years old and encouraging Eric to dribble and basketball. Now at 15, I'm on the sideline shouting, get the ball. 
Oh, I guess I'm giving the ball. <laughs> and uh, help our top swimmers get better every single week. Thank you. Hello, good morning. My name is Kate Sambridi. I am confident, I'm also beautiful and everything else. I know what I want and work hard weekly to achieve my goals. I have won multiple medals and ribbons and each one represents all the challenges I have overcome. Thank you. thousands of people in New York State and whereas toward the end there is health and mental health public policy interest in assisting efforts to inform the people of Orange County of organizations government offices and health professionals ready to help families in need of services and now therefore be it resolved that I Stephen M Newhouse who's in, Af in the abroad Orange County Executive and L. Stephen Brush and myself, Chairman, do hereby, hereby proclaim April 2019 as Autism Awareness Month throughout Orange County. And I command this observance to all citizens. Honor during this month of April 2019, Stephen M. Newhouse County Executive, L. Stephen Brush, Chairman of the Legislature, and the rest of the Legislature as well. Thank you. Thank you, Stacy, for all your You want to say a final note? Yes. Absolutely. They were shoving me off the stage here. I don't know. You sure you want? You're an honorary fellow. I'm not very. I want my shirt. Tell you about our program, make you aware of that. 
Um, in rape crisis, what we do is mainly, everybody, this is rape crisis, this is our team, and I'm really grateful for them. Um, everybody's an advocate, and that means that they're available 10 days out of the month, 24 seven period. Uh, we respond uh, to 32 police departments, uh, the, the state police, and the hospitals in the county. So I'm really grateful for them. Uh, advocates also play a dual role. We all have different roles. So in addition to being an advocate, we have people who represent other parts of our program. As far as the um, Center for Disease Control, what they do is um, they declared sexual assault rape that it, it's a national health issue. And so what we do is, in our program, we tackle it from like the different prongs. Everything from prevention education, outreach, and we also have a sexual assault examiner program, which we're really grateful for the county helping us fund. The DA's office is a big piece of it. Without it, we wouldn't have one, and we are very grateful. So um, I'd like to introduce you. This is this is Kim Mistala, Megan Lewis, Tina Keneally, and this is Kristen McPoles. And uh, hi, I am the Student Sexual Assault Examiner for Orange County Rape Crisis, and what I do is I uh, provide medical oversight, and I actually take the laws of New York State and national best practices and put it into working through our program so we can be the best that we can be for our county. Uh, I'm Megan Ruiz. I'm a victim advocate, as Kathy said, um, but I also do community education, so I do prevention education for the middle schools and the high schools. Um, one big, the big thing we've done is um, we've implemented Mentors in Violence Prevention, which is a by, bystander intervention program in Monroe Woodbury High School as a college credit for Marist. Hi, I'm Tina Keneally. I'm the Sexual Assault Examiner Program Coordinator. Basically, my role there is to recruit nurses to become sexual assault examiners. I coordinate the sexual assault response team for the county, and I do a lot of professional trainings at police departments and hospitals. Hi everybody, I'm Kristen. I am also a victim advocate and I am the Enough is Enough provider in Orange County. Uh, that means that I do the prevention education on the college campuses in Orange County. Um, we also use mentors and violence prevention on college campuses. Most notably, we've been doing um, mentors and violence prevention at Mount St. Mary for a couple years now. And as of next year, it's officially gonna be part of their new student orientation. So something we're really proud of that we've accomplished. Thank you all for allowing us to speak and for, for having us here. We very much appreciate all of your support. I'd like to thank you ladies for all that you do. I mean, we definitely appreciate the whole legislature does. I, I had a family member that was a victim quite a number of years ago and I, I can appreciate um, absolutely everything you do. So. Without further ado, Lori Totel would like to say a few words. Hi, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for all you do. Um, seeing that it's five of you, it, I know the workload that you have, and part of that is from our national statistics. The Department of Justice says that 60% of sexual assault crimes are not reported to the police, and the CDC Thursday says 18% of women have reported being raped in their lifetime. Campus rape, one in five women and one in six men will be sexually assaulted while in college. Young women of color experience sexual violence at a higher rate. 40% of black women reported coercive sexual contact by age 18, and nearly one-fifth of Latina teens reported sexual dating violence. Nearly one in five women and one in 71 men in the U.S. have been raped at some time in their lives including me. We need to end the stigmatism of shame in reporting, protect the victims with long-term care and resources, and you are providing that here in Orange County, and thank you for that. Thank you very much, Sarah. I know that's tough to do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's really heartening to see you here and listen to your story. Uh, my story is that in the 80s and 90s, I was on the Mental Health Association Board of Directors and actually, at the time, we formed the Rape Crisis Line. And I remember that, that discussion and how we tried to make it all work at that time. And over time, it's been just a spectacular program. Every year I watch it, and 
and root it on because I think it's, a, it's one of the greatest things the Mental Health Association has ever done. So congratulations. Employees. We have a clinician who provides free clinical services to victims of sexual assault. It doesn't matter when it happened, age, gender, ethnicity, as long as you're an Orange County re resident, they can get free services. And in addition, we also have a sexual assault examiner pool, which that's what Kinga has oversight for. And there's, I, I think, seven examiners on. And so, like, when there's a big case, an advocate gets dispatched. If it warrants, then the advocate dispatches a sexual assault examiner. So it's more to the story than just what you see in front of you. Thank you again, and, and keep us advised. We have the Opioid Education Committee, and whatever we can do to help get the word out, we'll be happy to do that. Okay, great, thanks so much. Wait a minute, Legislator Tatel is gonna do the proclamation. Uh, sexual Assault Awareness Month. Whereas sexual assault and rape occur in one in four girls and one in six boys before their 18th birthday, and sexual assault and rape are the most underreported crimes. And whereas the Mental Health Association of Orange County AIDS Great Crisis Service Program provide in-person accompaniment and crisis intervention services to over 211 victims of sexual assault last year. Whereas the Mental Health Association in Orange County, Inc. requests public support and assistance as it continues to work towards a community where all women, children, and men can live free from sexual violence and exploitation. Now, therefore, be resolved that I, Stephen M. Newhouse, Orange County Executive, and L. Stephen Bresham, Chairman, do hereby proclaim the month of April 2019 as Sexual Assault Awareness Month throughout Orange County, and I commend this observance to all citizens on this sixth day of April 2019. to share April uh, with such outstanding organizations. Uh, April is also designated as Prevention of Animal Cruelty Month, and it's Go Orange for animals, and I know you've seen me before wear orange. It's not my best color, but I do it today. And I also brought PJ. PJ is a victim of animal abandonment. Three years ago, he was left tied to a tree overhead in a remote area on Route 17-6. If it wasn't for a state trooper having to look around and check things out, he wouldn't have been spotted at all. Fortunately, the trooper went to his rescue, called our organization, and we responded only to find that he was completely bitten up all over his face with wounds, all covering his entire body, mostly his head and face. Um, he, I don't believe he was a victim of dogfighting, although we know that dogfighting and cockfighting is what they call organized animal abuse. Um, he's recovered fully, as you can see. He bears no scars. He holds not a grudge. Uh, however, his back leg has um, a, just a chronic uh, condition where it cannot be repaired. We went to an orthopedic specialist. It appears that the dog had been yanked at one point 
and the leg was dislocated, but it's now healed to the best of its ability. And believe me, it doesn't hold him back. We climbed two flights of stairs just fine. I, I would like to take just a moment and uh, just point out a couple of facts. Um, according to the Humane Society of the United States, um, intentional cruelty to animals obviously is strongly correlated. Everybody knows this now, we're so grateful that to human violence. Um, animal hoarding behavior, it victimizes the animals. Um, I've been on several animal hoarding cases and it, it's a hard call because the intentions are good, but these people need mental health uh, help a lot because unfortunately with animal hoarding, they don't take care of the animals. There's too many animals to care for. They don't provide them with any medical care. They provide them with love, sometimes food, but it's never enough. And unfortunately, with animal hoarding, it's a 100% recidivism rate. They have not been able to figure out how to help these people and stop the hoarding. A survey suggests that those who intentionally abuse animals are predominantly men under the age of 30. And in animal hoarding cases, predominantly women over 60. The animals who, ab who are abused the most are dogs, cats, horses, and livestock. Uh, in regards to domestic violence, uh, there are approximately 7 million pet dogs and 71.4 million pet cats in households in the United States. 20 men and women are assaulted every minute on an average of 10 million people a year in homes that have pets. I say this because 71% of domestic violence victims report that their abusers have also targeted their pets. And in families under investigation for child abuse, 88% of animals are abused in those homes as well. So we are very fortunate in our county to have a district attorney and a sheriff's department very active in investigating and prosecuting animal abuse. And I'm so sad to say that we have seen a lot in our county lately. Um, but again, we're here because we thank you and we ask everybody to please use your eyes and your ears be a voice for the animals, because they don't have a voice. Most times they suffer in silence, and we can be their voice, but we need people to use that and call and report it. Even if you want to do it anonymously, we're happy to check on anything. We'd rather go and be yelled at by an owner for checking on something than to not have it reported and only find out too late. So I thank you all again for this opportunity to to show that April is Prevention of Animal Cruelty Month, to receive the proclamation, to uh, allow us to have PJ as a representative of an animal that had been victimized. And I thank you all. Thank you very much, Troy, did you want to say anything? Well, thank you very much, Troy. Orange is my color, even though Tennessee went down in flames a week and a half ago. But PJ is like Smokey, the, the, the mascot of Tennessee, right? Right, uh, But yes, sir. Who they went down to the Purdue Boilermakers, we all know that. Thank you, Michael. But they went down after us, so. Um, but I'd like to thank you. We believe in your mission, absolutely. Uh, we passed Rocky's Law a few years ago. Mike and Agnes Dacus brought it to us, and it was supported big time by the Sheriff's Office and the District Attorney's Office, and uh, we're with you 100%. You guys don't want to say anything, but you just say your names. My name is Investigator Justin Warden with the Sheriff's Office. And Investigator Troy McCulloch with the Sheriff's Office. Thank you guys for coming, so, definitely. We have a proclamation for you as well. Oh, don't eat it, DJ. That's what you said. Okay. Prevention of Animal Cruelty Month. Whereas the County of Orange, the citizens of Orange County, and the Warwick Valley Humane Society recognize that animals are living, sentient beings, and that their health, safety, and well-being is their fundamental right, and now therefore it be resolved that I, Stephen M. Newhouse, Orange County Executive, and L. Stephen Brescia, Chairman of the Orange County Legislature, hereby proclaim April 2019 as Prevention of Animal Cruelty Month throughout Orange County and call upon all Orange County residents to treat any and all animals with kindness, consideration, and respect, and to report the abuse, neglect, and cruelty of all animals to law enforcement agencies and their local humane society, or to the Warwick Valley Humane Society, honored during this month of April 2019 Stephen Newhouse, Steve Brescia.
EJ. Yeah, look, at, look at the camera. <laughs> Hey, buddy. Here we go. There you go. Good. Thanks for coming in, DJ. Got it. Yes, good dog. Yes, you're probably on mine right now. Warwick, you mean? Yeah. Oh. That Yahoo. It's an easy one. Thank okay. you. Susan, yes. Sure. Thank you. Okay, let's go this way. Come on, DJ. DJ, come. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We have fun, one final proclamation. And first of all, uh, I'm Tom Faggio, I'm the Orange County Legislator. I represent the city of Port Jervis and the town of Deer Park, and PJ's got a great nickname. PJ, I think that's, uh, that's pretty cool, so. Uh, our last proclamation, Chairman, is uh, something that is close to my heart. Uh, first of all, I'd like to recognize Julie Martin from Greenville. She's here in the audience today. And uh, with so many of the proclamations today, this one we're gonna keep brief. Uh, I've partnered in the last couple of years with friends in Milford, Pennsylvania, and on Father's Day weekend, we participate in a 5K walk and that 5K walk is to raise awareness and funds for Parkinson's research. And uh, it is my pleasure to be here today. Unfortunately, I wish I didn't have to do this, but it's a proclamation to uh, ask that the uh, county, and we are very proud to stand with our friends in Pike County, Pennsylvania as well, and to declare that April will be Parkinson's Awareness Month. So I have this proclamation, and Julie and I, we spoke before the meeting. Uh, Marcia Guberman, who is the director of the 5K race, could not be here today. So I'm gonna dispense with all the reading of this and just uh, let everyone know that uh, thanks to the legislature and the chairman that we are going to, as it says here, be resolved that we, the Orange County Legislature, do hereby proclaim April as Parkinson's Awareness Month and commend these sentiments to every citizen in Orange County. So Julie, thank you for being here today and thank you all for the time. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you, Julian, Legislator Fascion. Appreciate it. Yes, I would just like to say to you, the uh, youth and government legislators uh, that Legislator Sassy was sweating that vote out, and thankfully it went down. But he noted all you yes votes, and he's going to persuade you to change your votes uh, soon thereafter. Okay, we have public participation. Anybody signed up? Nobody signed up at the beginning of the session. Okay, let's go to. Rules Chairman, Legislator Fazion. Thank you, Chairman. I move to approve the minutes of January 3rd, 2019. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Carried. Okay. Chairman, I also move to vote collectively on the following items. Items number seven and eight, Second. items 18 through 20, Second. and items 23 through 25. Second. Okay, if there are no objections, that'll be done. Are all in favor, I'll say? Aye. Opposed? Carried. Okay, and also, uh, Chairman Fagion, we'd like to uh, move up the bonding resolutions to right after number six, because we are shorthanded a little bit today. Yes, Chairman, please, with your uh, consideration, we would ask that we would move the following items up after item six, and they will be items 27 through 30. If there are no objections, that'll be done. Thank you, Chairman. Okay. Any referrals or withdrawals? Mr. Chairman? Yes, Legislator Tui. I request that item number 21 on the agenda, bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, ratifying bond resolution number 142 of 2009, reauthorizing the issuance of $444,335 bonds to finance a part of the cost of construction of HVAC improvements at the Couser Building at the Valley View Center be withdrawn. Second. If there are no objections, that will be done as well. Thank you. What about 22? I have down your 22. Uh, yes, I request that item number 22 on the agenda, resolution making a supplemental appropriation to the 2019 county budget for the Valley View Center for Nursing Care and Rehabilitation in the amount of $4,210,000 be withdrawn. Is there a second? Second. Second, okay. Second. Sorry, Janet, I jumped the gun on you there, so. If there are no objections, that'll be done as well. And are we ready to go to number one? Okay. Okay, 1A receive and file, number one. 
Legislators Cheney and Benelli, resolution of the Orange County Legislature opposing New York State Senate Bill 2837, Assembly Bill 2750 of 2019. Discussion? Yes, Legislator Ruskevich. Yeah, thank you, Chairman. Uh, first, uh, first of all, could you add my name before I forget? No problem. Uh, yeah, I'd just like to encourage all my uh, uh, legislators to support this resolution. The uh, Farm Worker Fair Labor Practices Act, which is uh, uh, being considered in the state legislature is an act that would require farmers to pay uh, time and a half overtime over 40 hours a week, uh, re uh, allow for collective bargaining rights for farm workers and require mandatory day arrest. Uh, this, if it was an act, it would not be economically feasible uh, for farmers. As you all know, farm work, uh, especially here in Orange County, is seasonal work. Uh, we have a very limited amount of time to get our crops harvested and if, uh, and we also require a certain number of hours to get that work done. Uh, so uh, typically uh, on a lot of farms, uh, farm workers will work uh, 60, 70 hours a week. Uh, that's uh, fairly normal. Uh, the seasonal workers that come here to work, they come here because they want those hours. They want to come here for a limited amount of time, work as many hours as they can, and uh, take that money back home uh, to their families. Uh, if this bill wasn't enacted, uh, farmers would be forced to hire more workers, cut their hours back, and uh, like I said, those, those workers, they want the hours, so if they can't get them here, they're gonna go on to other states, Michigan, Wisconsin, where uh, they don't have uh, such restrictions. Um, also, uh, collective bargaining rights. Um, if workers were going strike during harvest season, you could easily lose a year's crop. Um, like I said, it's very uh, limited amount of time to get a crop harvested. Sometimes it's a matter of hours. Um, uh, as far as the day of rest, um, you know, days of rest occur naturally with uh, rainy days, whatnot. Um, I believe this would allow uh, workers to uh, opt out, which I think most of them probably would. Um, uh, workers uh, also do receive other benefits that aren't received in uh, other industries. Uh, they're provided with housing, provided with transportation. They're eligible for a number of uh, health care um, programs as well. And um, I know that you know the people proposing this legislation are looking to help farm workers, but in actuality, it's going to hurt farm workers and it's going to hurt farmers. So I would encourage all of you to uh, please support this. Thank you. Thank you. You want to speak? Okay. Fashion added. O'Don O'Donnell added. Sutherland added. Sassy. Stegenga. Vero. Okay. Roll call. Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Abstain. Benton? Yes. Cheney? Yes. Fagion? Hines? Pulisic? Wuhan? No. O'Donnell? Briscavage? Yes. Sassy? Yes. Sierra? No. Stiganga? Yes. Sutherland? Yes. Sotel? Abstain. Dewey? Yes. Giro? Yes. Gretchen? 15 ayes, 2 noes, 2 abstentions. Yes, go ahead. Just for the sake of brevity, um, we've instructed the uh, clerk not to read the pursuant to sections of law on each of the resolutions so that we can move the uh, agenda forward faster. Thank you. Thank you. And I would like to recognize Deputy County Exec and Acting County Exec Harry Poor. Being with us today. Doing a great job here. Uh, number two. Legislators Pennelli and Hines. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Planning to apply for and accept the Federal Transit Administration Grant. Discussion. Okay. added. Okay. Yara added. Luan added. Um, Totel added. Stiganga. Roll call. The Duke? Yes. Amo? Yep. And Adistakis, Menton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Ulisek, Luhan, O'Donnell, Ruscavich, Sassy, Sierra, Stiganga, Sutherland, Totel, Tui, Vero, Brescia, 19 eyes. Okay, number three, and I'm going to jump the gun. I would assume all legislators want to be on this resolution. Okay. Number three. 
Legislators Baggio and Benelli, Amo Vero, Cheney, Hines, Kulosek, and Badu. Resolution recognizing May 1st, 2019 as Holocaust Memorial Day, Yam Hashoah. Discussion? Yes, let's uh, caucus leader Amo. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I think this is timely, obviously, and, and something we're all going to support, but today's news sources uh, had a study that told that the amount of anti Semitism across Europe and the United States has increased precipitously over the last three or four years. It makes you all wonder why, why we need to do something like this. It's like amazing why it's happening. Thank you. Roll call. Paduk? Yes. Emma? Yes. Anadistakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagiom? Hines? Pulisek? Luhan? Wodano? Miskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Stiganga? Sutherland? Tortel? Tui? Bureau? Russia? 19 months. And number four? Legislators Pulisek, Hines, Benton, and Benelli. Resolution reaffirming the Orange County Department of General Services procurement policy. Thank you. Discussion? Yes, Pagione added. Roll call. Paduk? Yes. Emo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Pagione? Hines? Pulisek? <coughs> Luhan? O'Donnell? Miscavige? Sassy? Sierra? Stiganga? Sutherland? Hotel? Tui, Bureau, and Brescia, 19 eyes. Okay, number five. Legislators Benton Kulisa. Resolution of the Orange County Legislature as the elected legislative body of Orange County, New York, in accordance with Section 147F of the Internal Revenue Code of 1986, as amended, approving the reissuance by the Orange County Funding Corporation of 25465 Aggregate principal amount, multimodal revenue bonds. Second. Discussion? Yes, Luan. Legislator Luan, excuse me. Uh, added. Roll call. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anadisakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Pulisek? Luhan? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Stiganga? Sutherland? Botel? Tui? Bureau? Brescia? 19 eyes. Okay, number six. And just on uh, number six, we're gonna separate the last parcel out for voting purposes. That's the property in Montgomery uh, section block in lot 308-1-11.43. So first we'll vote on uh, the first seven, and then uh, we'll take a vote on the last one. Okay, on the first seven, roll call. No, I think we see the parcels in front of us, so I don't think you have to read it. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anadisakis? Benton? Yeah. Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Pulisek? Luhan? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Stiganga? Sutherland? Tortel? Tui? Bureau? Russia? 19 minutes. Okay, and the next one, I think we have three abstentions, but we'll get to them when we roll call. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anastakis? Abstain. Benton? Abstain. Cheney? Yes. Adjion? Hines? Pulisek? Luhan? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Stiganga? Sutherland? Totel? Tui? Bureau? Russia. Uh, I abstain. 69 is three abstentions. Okay. Yes. We separate the last item on number seven. We're voting on seven and eight collectively, or do we separate seven on the last The last, very last item. That was on number six. One of the purchasers was okay. setting committee that. Um, no, now we're going to move to 27. Yeah, with the bond resolutions. Okay, we voted on all the parcels, but the one was separated out, the last one. Okay? All right, number 27, bond resolution requiring two-thirds vote. Legislators Fagion, Sassy, Benton, and Sutherland. Bond resolution, County of Orange, New York, authorizing the expansion of the firearms range of the Sheriff's Department, stating the estimated maximum cost thereof is 50,000, prorating said amount, therefore, and authorizing the issuance of 50,000 bonds to the county 
to finance that appropriation. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Uh, Briscoe, which added, Steve Ganga added. Roll call. And two we added, sorry. Hadoop? Yes. Emo? Yes. Nagastakis? Enton? Cheney? Pagione? Hines? Pulisak? Luhan? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Steganga? Sutherland? Totel? Tui? Hero? Russia? Thank you, nice. Okay, number 28. Legislators Fagione, Sierra, Benton, and Benelli. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing the replacement of the roof at the Orange County Jail, stating the estimated maximum cost thereof, $6,315,000, appropriating said amount, therefore, and authorizing the issuance of 6315000 bonds to the county to finance that appropriation. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Duke? Yes. Nemo? Yes. Nadistakis? Benton? Cheney? Pagione? Hines? Pulisek? Luhan? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Steganga? Sutherland? Totel? Tui? Hero? Russia? 99s. Okay, number 29. Legislators Sassy, Bureau, Benton, and Hines. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing the construction of capital improvements at the Orange County Jail, stating the estimated maximum cost thereof is 100,000, appropriating said amount, therefore, and authorizing the issuance of 100,000 bonds of the county to finance said appropriation. Second. As you own added, okay. discussion. Us other one added, and Duke added, us the Ganga added, roll call. Duke? Yes. Email? Yes. Nagastakis, Benton, Cheney, Pagione, Hines, Kulisek, Luhan, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Steganga, Sutherland, Totel, Tui, Bureau, Russia, 19 Okay, number 30. Legislator Sierra, Luhan, Benton, and Nagastakis. Bond resolution, County of Orange, New York, authorizing the replacement of building equipment at the Orange County Jail, stating the estimated maximum cost thereof is 161,000, appropriating said amount, therefore, and authorizing the issuance of 161,000 bonds of the county to finance that appropriation. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Paduk? Yes. Emo? Yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulisek, Luhan, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Steganga, Sutherland, Totel, Tui, Bureau, Russia, 19 Okay, now we're back to seven and eight collectively. Correction. correction. These, these are correction of errors. Okay. Town of Cornwall, Town of Palm Tree. Okay, roll call. Duke? Yes. Emo? Anagasakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione, Hines, Pulisek, Luhan, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Steganga, Sutherland, Tortel, Tui, Vero, Russia, 19 Okay, number nine. Legislators Tui, Benelli, Benton, and Sutherland. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Public Works, the implementation and funding of the cost of 100% of the cost of a transportation project which may be eligible for federal aid and or state aid or reimbursement from Bridge New York funds. Okay, discussion? Do you want to be added or you want to add it? Okay. I know Sutherland's on there. I know that's a concern, so, okay. Roll call. Paduk? Yes. Emo? Yes. Nagasakis, Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Pulisek, Luhan, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Steganga, Sutherland, Totel, Tui, Vero, Russia, 19 eyes. Okay, number 10, right? Yep, legislative one. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I just asked to be added to that one as well. Um, I had to raise my hand. Previous one, no problem. I'm sorry, I missed you. It's okay. Okay, number 10. Legislator Tui, Benelli, Benton, and Sutherland. Amending bond resolution dated April 5th, 2019, amending the bond resolution adopted September 1st, 2016, and amended September 6th, 2018 in relation to the replacement of the county-owned Otisville Viaduct in the village of Otisville. Second. Discussion? Roll call. 
Duke? Yes. Emo? Yes. Anandasakis? Benton? Cheney? Bagiome? Hines? Pulisek? Muhan? Wadano? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Stiganga? Sutherland? Tortel? Chewy? Euro? Brescia? 19 eyes. Okay, number 11. Legislators, Pulisek, Paduke, and Benton. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Public Works to implement and fund, in the first instance, 100% of the federal aid and state March Selly program aid eligible costs of a transportation federal aid project and appropriate funds, therefore, and enter into supplemental agreement number four with the New York State Department of Transportation to amend the existing agreement for the replacement of Grove Drive Bridge. Capital Project 486. Okay, Legislator Cheney added, Lujan added. Well, okay. Roll call. Duke? Yes. Emo? Anandasakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagiome? Hines? Pulisek? Luhan? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Stiganga? Sutherland? Tortel? Chewy? Bureau? Brescia? 19 eyes. Okay, number 12. Legislators Pulisek, Paduke, and Benton. Amending bond resolution dated April 5, 2019. Amending the bond resolution adopted February 7, 2019 in relation to the replacement of Grove Dry Bridge. Discussion, Jeannie added. Roll call. Paduke? Yes. Emo? Yes. Anandasakis? Benton? Jeannie? Fagione? Hines? Pulisek? Luhan? O'Donnell? Miskevich? Sassy? Sierra, Stiganga, Sutherland, Tortel, Chewy, Zero, Russia, 19 eyes. Number 13, two thirds vote, bond resolution. Legislators Purdue, Kulisek, Benton, and Minuta. Amending bond resolution dated April 5th, 2019, further amending the bond resolution adopted February 2nd, 2012, and amended February 4th, 2016, and further amended on May 3rd, 2018, and further amended on February 7th, 2019, in relation to the financing, the cost of the construction of recreational area improvements at the County Owned Heritage Trail, the estimated cost of 9516990 Discussion? Fagione added, Paduke added, just thinking. Oh, you want to speak? Okay, can we just get the address? Uh, Lujan, no, I'm sorry. Tortel and Lujan, Stiganga, Sierra, Sassy, O'Donnell. Go ahead, Minority Leader. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, in regards to the Heritage Trail, it's been going on for quite a long time. Uh, this money is going to help with Segment 3, which goes through the city of Middletown, uh, actually right through the heart of my district in downtown Middletown. I'm very proud to be a, a sponsor of it. We worked hard on this for a lot of years. But in regards to the amount that was stated in 9516990 that's not all from the county. I just wanted to point that out. In regards to that amount, uh, we've gotten an increase in grants from 7 million to 7 million three seven one five one eight to be, and the county will only be increased by 59,800, and we'll be at a total cost of 645. 472. I'm very proud of the fact that we've all supported it and look forward to walking in with all of these one day. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Yes. Yes, Sutherland added. And just a reminder, uh, Acting County Executive, next Thursday is the IDA meeting, and I hope it's, I haven't followed it lately, I hope the amended to get the front end money from the IDA is, is on that agenda next Thursday. It is? Perfect. Thank you, sir. Roll call. Duke? Yes. Emo? Yes. Anandasakis? Benton? Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Pulisek, Luhan, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Stiganga, Sutherland, Tortel, Tui, Bureau, and Brescia, 19 eyes. Okay, number 15. Or is it 14? I'm sorry, I'm jumping down. 14. Legislators Pidu, Kulisek, Benton, and Minuta. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Parks, Recreation, and Conservation to implement the funds in the first instance 100% of the federal aid and state March Selly program aid eligible costs of a transportation federal aid project and enter into supplemental agreement number one with the New York State Department of Transportation for the cost of the prim preliminary engineering and right of way incidentals with a heritage trail extension. Second. Discussion? Roll call. The gang added. Roll call. And Totel added. Roll call. And Sierra, roll call. 
Paduk? Yes. Amo? Nagastakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Pulisak? Lujan? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Stiganga? Sutherland? Tortell? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 19. Okay, number 15. Legislators Ruskevich and Paduk. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Public Works for the implementation and funding 100% of the cost of a transportation project of which qualified costs may be reimbursed from Bridge New York funds. Second. Discussion? Duke? Just a compliment sitting on physical services. I don't remember in my 21 years here of ever getting a bridge funded 100%. It was great work by DPW, and I wanted to just compliment them on that. Here, here. So I tell you, you want to. Added. Okay. Uh, Sutherland added. Luhan, Stiganga. Roll call. Duke? Yes. Emo? Yes. Anandasakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Bulisek? Luhan? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Stiganga? Sutherland? Tortell? Tui? Bureau? Brescia? 19 eyes. Okay, number 16. Legislators Benton and Kulisek, resolution of the Orange County Legislature assuming lead agency status under the State Environmental Quality Review Act, secret, with respect to the Algonquin Park Dam restoration in the town of Newburgh, classifying the act as a type one action and determining that the action will not have any significant adverse environmental impacts. Second. Discussion, Jeannie added, roll call. Duke. Yes. Emo? Yes. Anandastakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Pulisak? Wuhan? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Stiganga? Sutherland? Totel? Tui? Euro? Russia? 19 Okay, add Totel and Wuhan to that as well. Okay, number 17. <laughs> Legislators Paduke and Tui. Resolution authorizing the county executive to accept a proposed right of way dedication parcel in the town of Newburgh. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Haney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Wuhan? O'Donnell? Briskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Stiganga? Sutherland? Tortell? Tui? Hero? Brescia? 19 eyes. Okay, 18, 19, and 20 collectively. Roll call. Oh. All them's added. Okay. Stiganga added. Okay. Sutherland, Fagione, O'Donnell, Sassy. Roll call. Yes. Two we added to. Roll call. Paduk? Yes. Emo? Yes. Nagasakis, Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Pulisek, Luhan, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Stiganga, Sutherland, Tortell, Tui, Bureau, Brescia, 19 eyes. Okay, 21 and 22 withdrawn. 22A receiving file. No, I'm sorry. Oh, 22A we're going to vote on? Okay, I'm sorry. I stand corrected. We need the money. <laughs> sorry about that. Okay, 22A. Legislators Benton and Hines. Resolution making a supplemental appropriation to the 2019 county budget for the Valley View Center for nursing care and rehabilitation. Second. Lawrence and Donna were getting a little nervous back there. Yes, all, all Democrats, Democrats, okay. You wanna speak? Okay, you, we got you all Democrats, we're good. Okay, O'Donnell added. Uh, Tui and Stiganga added. Roll call. Two thirds vote. No. no, I'm sorry, it's just a supplemental, right? Right, we're not bonding there. Paduk? Yes. Emo? Yes. Anandastakis? Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulisek, Luhan, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Stiganga, Sutherland, Tortell, Tui, Bureau, Brescia, 19 eyes. Okay, 23, 24, 25 collectively, roll call. You got it. all Dems added. Okay, roll call. Paduk. Emo? Yes. Nagastakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Pulisek? Luhan? O'Donnell? Riskevich? 
Sassy, Sierra, Stianga, Sutherland, Fotel, Tui, Vero, Brescia, 19 eyes. Okay, number 26. Legislators Hines and Pagione, resolution confirming the reappointments and appointments by the County Executive to the Orange County Fire Advisory Board. Okay. Discussion? Uh, Sierra added and Kulisak added. Roll call. Paduk? Yes. Ema? Anastakis? Benton? Cheney? Pagione? Hines? Kulisak? Lujan? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Stiganga? Sutherland? Tortel? Chewy, Vero, Russia, 19 eyes. Okay, 27 through 30 we did, number 31. Legislator Sutherland and O'Donnell, resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Social Services to accept and appropriate funds from the New York State Office of Temporary and Disability Assistance. Okay. Discussion? All Dems added. Yeah. Okay, roll call. Duke? Yes. Emo? Yes. And then Stockis? Benton? Cheney? Pagione, Hines, Tulisek, Luhan, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Stiganga, Sutherland, Tortel, Tui, Vero, Brescia, 19 eyes, and the desk is clear. I, tell you, I have to tell you, in 25 years, that's got to be the quickest youth in government meeting we've ever had that I've been here. Uh, did you guys learn anything today? This was kind of a boring meeting. Sometimes we have real spirited debate, controversial issues. But we do decide on an $800 million budget. That's a big budget. So I hope you were, you uh, learned a little bit today. And I was going to have to leave at about 11.30, 11.40. And our rules chairman was going to chair the meeting. So he's been studying all, all week to midnight. And he was nervous. And he was, his palms were sweaty. And he was, <laughs> you, didn't get, you didn't get your day in the pain. But he, he has informed me many times that he will be sitting in this chair up here one day. <laughs> sooner, hopefully later than sooner, right? <laughs> yes, Legislator Sassy. Mr. Chairman, I want to thank all the students who participate and legislators for their time. Do we have time to introduce the young, the students? Yeah, I think we do. Absolutely. Yeah, that's a good idea. We used to do that years ago in the old... Uh, well, I want to commend you for moving them quite quickly going to roll call as you did. Yes. Thank the ladies who, took, uh, who helped out. I see Anne-Marie Maglione, who used to work in the county exec's office. I don't know if you knew that or not. Many years ago, she participated. Karen Happel and from the uh, finance department and Kerry Gallagher, I'm sure they participated. Harry, I'm sure you participated. Thank you all. And let's uh, go around and do a little introduction. Say a little bit about yourselves or your counterparts. My counterpart today is Jose Santiago, and he goes to NFA uh, main campus. I'm Derek Perez, and I go to Pine Bush High School. I'm a senior. Hi, uh, my counterpart is Patrick Phillips. I'm a steward, and he's a junior, and he's going to study uh, criminal justice when he goes to one of the SUNY colleges. So he's sitting with the right guy today. <laughs> my name is Zach, and um, I'm a sophomore at Valley Central. Uh, my name is David Lambassador, and I'm a sophomore at Minnesota College. My name is Ryan Anatovich, I'm a sophomore at Minnesota Valley High School, and one day I, I want to be a uh, part of this legislative body. You sure about that? <laughs> uh, my name is Jacob Ma, I'm a 10th grader, I go to Chester Academy, and I look forward to a future in public service. My name is Tristan Bridewieser. I'm also a sophomore from Chester Academy. I'm uh, Misael Alarcon, and I'm from Washingtonville High School, and uh, I'm going into the Army, hoping to be joined into uh, politics one day.
Hi, I'm Henry Prevost. I'm a junior at Warwick Valley High School, and uh, I do ultimately want to enter government and a career in politics someday, and I really appreciate this opportunity, so I just want to thank the legislator, legislature for this uh, opportunity. Um, hi, I'm Zach Bauman. I'm a 12th grader also at Warwick Valley High School. I'm looking next year to major in uh, political science at uh, hopefully the United States Naval Academy, if not the new university. Go on, go on, beat me. They got to rub it in, don't they? Go Navy, beat Army. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, mostly someday, somewhere, enter in politics. Uh, hi, my name is Ken Candelaria. I'm a sophomore at NFA. And I'm hoping for a bright future. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Anastasia Cerno. I'm from Middletown High School. I'm a senior, and I'm going to be attending U Albany, dual major in history and political science. Hello, everyone. My name is Miles. I'm from Middletown High School. I'm a senior as well, and I um, plan on majoring in political science. I don't know what college yet. I'm still going through the process, and I hope to one day become a politician and change the United States. <laughs> Hi, my name is Sergio Morales. I'm a junior at NFA. Yeah. And uh, my name is Robin McDowell. I'm also a junior at NFA. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Two more. I'm Connor Wolfram, and I'm a freshman at Valley Central. David Dayquil. I'm a junior at Washington High School. get a hold of all of us on you know our emails are on the website our phone numbers and if you ever have any questions about you know poli sci I was a poli sci major so amen to you and um, so there's two more out in the audience who wants to introduce them I'm Liam Randall a sophomore at NFA I'm Louis Gonzalez I go to Chester Academy thank you guys too And also, Legislator Sassy started a new tradition which we hope to continue today with the singing of the National Anthem. This uh, month it was Pine Bush High School. Next month I would like to see Valley Central, which I know you have connections there. And we'll keep it going from uh, all your respective districts because I think it's a great tradition that we're gonna honor. Okay, anything else? Legislator Sassy, there's a luncheon afterwards and... Uh, You guys all know your transportation where you're supposed to go? If you're lost, just see Legislator Sass. That's what I do when I'm lost. Okay, just ask security, okay? But thanks again for coming in. It was a great day. We'll do it again next year. Motion to adjourn. All in favor?